All right, guys, so welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to give you a couple tips on how to improve your ax. So this is a brand new handle, uh, an old jersey pattern ax head. I picked this up at a flea market or something, I'm not sure. Um, but the handle had already been put in it and just show you a little bit here uh, what they did it's not it's not horrible um, I mean it's seated in there really well it it should be fine I've actually cut down a few trees with this it's super solid it's just the way they did this it it's uh, it could have been done a lot better, but it'll work. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, a couple things. This is a new handle. It's, um, let's see, it's got the tag on here. I'll tell you exactly what it is. <clears throat> so, it's a 35-inch single-bit axe handle American Hickory. Right there. But, uh, yeah. So when you buy these handles, they have a lacquer on them, and they're super, super slick. Uh, now, if you're like me, I don't like that. I don't like it smooth like that. I like a little bit of texture to them. The first thing that I'm going to do is sand. Jesus, Rip. Calm down, bro. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is sand this handle down. I'm just going to take a, a big, long strip of emery cloth, sand this down, and... Uh, We'll do that now, and then we'll move on to the next thing that you can do to improve your axe handle. So yeah, take all your stickers off, take all that all that garbage off there. And if you don't have if you don't have emery cloth or sandpaper or something, you can take a knife. Here I've just got a Leatherman. Uh, you can take your knife blade, stand it at 90 degrees, and just rake it straight. And you can see how that's peeling this off. That'll work just as good as sandpaper. You don't have to have sandpaper. Um, but yeah, just make sure you get all that off there and you can tell, you can tell when it comes off cause you can feel it. It's not slick anymore. So once you get your lacquer and all that scraped off of your handle, and I apologize about Rip's whining, he just... I don't know what his deal is. He just whines and cries like continuously. It's 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 maddening. Um, but yeah. So once you get all that scraped and sanded off, and you get it nice and smooth and down to the actual wood, so you're want you're gonna want to put something on there to preserve that. <clears throat> now, there's a couple of different things that you can use that I have used. The first one is black walnut oil this seems to work really good um, there's another one I don't care too much about it it's grapeseed oil uh, my favorite that I use a lot is uh, this is bold linseed oil um, and if you do your research and, and things like that you'll see that 
that linseed oil will actually penetrate wood grain deeper than any other oil on the market. And all you're gonna do is just uh, take an old rag, I got an old piece of a t-shirt here, and it don't take much of this. You're gonna dip it in your oil, and hopefully we can get some uh, color change in this. I'm not sure, maybe, yeah. And you're just gonna wanna rub that all over the handle, rub it in good. The, and I also will say the more, the more you rub it, the, uh, the darker it'll get. So to the best of my understanding, linseed oil will, will go deeper in wood than anything. So obviously the more coats that you put on, the better saturated your handle is going to be. And, uh, the more that you rub it in, you know, it heats the wood, the friction, it heats the wood, it heats the oil. And this is also really good. You can rub this like right on the ax head itself. It'll just help coat it, keep it from rusting on you. Um, so yeah, a good coat of boiled linseed oil will help, uh, will help your handle a lot. Okay, so the next thing that you can do to your axe, and I like to do it to all of mine, even my hatchets, is uh, you can put a leather a leather collar right here. Um, it just helps protect the wood if you overstrike or if you hit the, the handle or anything like that. And plus it looks really cool too. So, so I've actually got a roll of leather here and I'm gonna take and cut a piece of this, punch some holes, Lace it up with leather on the back side. Put a little glue on it to keep it from sliding around. So I'm going to do that, and I'll time lapse that. That way it don't take so long. And I'll get back here as soon as I get that on there and get ready to tie it on. All right, so, so you kind of seen what I did there cut this on an angle it's not it's not straight it's kind of wedge shaped so that's going to go like that and then we're going to take our leather lacing and we're going to we're going to lace this that way it stays tight but I am going to take a little bit of the good old Gorilla Glue and put just a little bit on one side here. I don't want any over here because I don't want it coming out and looking bad or anything like that. So just a little bit and that'll just kind of tack it in place. That way it doesn't move. I'm going to cut this. A little bit on one end. Run it through like so. Run it through like that. Run the other end down the other side. Now you're gonna do this. Uh, now I don't know if this is the right way to do it or not, but this is the way I do it. So. I just take and lace it. Kinda like you would just lace a shoe, except backwards. And then that keeps it keeps your stitching hid on the inside. Uh, you don't have to do it like this. You can do it, you know, however you want to do it. It's your axe, but 
This is how I'm doing it. Tie it in a good knot. Snip that off. So there you go. A good protective piece of leather to protect your handle up here. We've got our handle sanded down. We've got it rubbed down with boiled linseed oil. That's going to protect it. And it's not, hear that? It's more grippy. I don't know if that's a word or not. Uh, but, yeah. That's a couple things that you can do to prolong the life of your axe. And it didn't take long. I haven't been out here very long at all. Um, and, yeah, I do this to... I don't know where my other axes are, but I think they're inside. But yeah, if you watch some of my other videos, you see my, my camp axe that I carry all the time. It's got a piece of red leather that I put on here a long time ago. And, and it's got scuffs and tore places and all that good jazz in it. But it's in the leather and it's not in my handle. So once that leather gets worn through, I can just take it off, put a new one on, go on about my business. So one last thing you can do is, this handle did not come with this little hole in the end of it right here. I drilled that in there. I spared the video footage of me drilling a hole through a handle. It's not that exciting. But, drill a hole through the end of your handle. Chamfer the each side, and keep it from splitting off. And you can take another piece of that leather lace, run through the handle, and make a... Make a way to hang your axe up. Um, you know, a lot of people just kind of chop it into the end of a log or or throw it on the ground or, you know, or whatever. But uh, But you don't have to do that. You can just drill you a little hole in there. And you don't have to use leather lacing for this. You can use a piece of, you can use a piece of paracord or, you know, pretty much anything you want. You don't have to use, you don't have to use leather. Uh, paracord works really good. And you've got a handle to hang your axe from. Uh, you can hang it up like that. You can hang it up on a, you can hang it up on a tree limb, you know, whatever. Just keeps your axe up out of the dirt, out of the mud, and you got this on here. Now, another thing that you can do if you've got a hatchet, a short handle, you can put this on the end of your hatchet handle and run your hand through it, kind of like a linear to keep you from dropping it. Um, I don't think it's a good idea. I'm not going to get into that right now, but, uh, but yeah. There you go, guys. Handle fixed. Leather piece. Leather strap through a hole. Uh, just a few quick tips. Now, this went from a really uh, cheap-looking junky axe to a really nice... to a really nice-looking bushcraft felling axe. I like it a lot more now. Looks a lot better. Um... Uh, be glad to use this one. But yeah, that's it, guys. Just a short video here for you. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If I did something wrong, if you didn't like it. If you did like it, just let me know down below. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.